property, housing, skills, this is revolution, stock fair, for every rural, blockchain, crypto, women, wealth, and wealth, Google, 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 Google. this is heaven, revolution, good cost, we are coming for everything. Greetings everyone, Dumelang, Molweni, Sani Bonani, welcome again to another Stockfell Revolution podcast episode. Today we are talking about we can use Stockfells to impact social change, a very, very, very a close to my heart type of a question. I have a powerhouse with me here, an amazing lady, Mashlochonono Pashlamusla. <laughs> and I always say, I was so practicing to say this name <laughs> and say, Kito ba Malashonono, because I'm used to those. Mm-hmm. Malashonono, welcome to the podcast. Malashonono is the founder of Masedi Projects, Masedi Education and Agriculture, which are using the Stockfell model for accessibility of affordable quality education in rural and semi rural communities to eradicate poverty. Malashonono. I'm used to Malish <laughs> Lohan. Hi, Palisa. <laughs> How are you? Welcome. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. honoring our invite. It's we are pleasure. so excited. It's a, um, a lot of people don't know that uh, you can use the Stockfield model for such mm. great things mm. in education and in agriculture, especially in rural areas and semi rural communities. Mm. Today, we're just going to be chatting about that. Mm. But first and foremost, our culture here in this podcast. Mm-hmm. is we ask you what is your Stockfell story, what is your experience with Stockfell from when you grew up? So I, I grew up, my mom had Stockfell, my grandmother had Stockfell, my aunt had Stockfell, right? Um, some went sour, some did really great things. I mean, like in a black community, you'll find that someone is unemployed, but we're able to bury them mm-hmm. because they have some sort of a Stockfell that you know allows for that. So uh, I think it made me realize that when we come together, we can make even greater things. But for me, was because my mom and my grandmother had this, you know, cake flour, Stockfell, sugar, you know, you have so much sugar and so much washing powder that you don't even know what to do with it. I felt like you could do more. So I was like, so you guys put away money, maybe, and give it to some retailer, and that retailer uses your money and make more money, and then it's still going to give you, like, you know, a goods worth your money at the end of the year. So I felt like they, like, in a way, they not, it's not really, like, a smart investment, so we could actually do more, like, put in money and actually get returns for it, and then, you know, buy whatever we want to buy. With it, and the money will be worth more. Hmm. I wonder when you told them that, what did they think at first? <laughs> um, you know, it's funny because they, they still think... They still think it's... I think, you know, within the black community, we still have a long way to teach about investments. They don't get it, right? Like, uh, they're very happy to take a thousand to their stock file and there's 10 of them every month. is about 10 grand. And then probably give it to some big retailer and then go at the end of the year with a truck and get some food. So it's... It's a long way to go, right? Mm. And I think even when you explain interest to people, it, it doesn't really make sense. So I wish we could actually do more. I wish we can have more financial literacy topics, you know, mm. just talk about investments and, yeah. Uh, I, I totally agree, especially in, in those type of stock firms uh, where you feel like you hear financial literacy is needed. Mm. But anyway, um, I believe uh, the best way of teaching people mm. is to show them mm. that this is mm. how to do things. So um, today I want us to talk about Mercedes uh, mm. for social change. And um, I, I love what you are doing um, you know, with your colleagues mm. uh, uh, with it, using the stock firm model mm. in order to, 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 to really elevate. Uh, education and agriculture, but specifically on the city education mm. uh, project. So would you tell us more about that? So more about uh, where you started. So my city education project, basically what it does, uh, we help schools, private schools, um, you know, to improve their infrastructures just so that they can actually be able to attract, you know, even more people. But we don't only we don't only help them on infrastructure, but we also you know uh, get in and help them with strategy and things like marketing, just to make you know the learning environment a better mm-hmm. uh, place for a black child. Because what we realized is that a lot of um, private schools, especially those started by like black people, they're not really looking cute, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't look like you're cute. Or sorry to say this, but like you know they don't have especially the, in the rural yeah, like they don't have the same infrastructure as Kiro, and you know so it's. You know, it's a school that I don't think I would take my child to, mm. right? So, and I can imagine there's other people that would be like, no, I can't take my child. They, right? So, 
with a lot of people, I mean, rural areas have like a really lot of people. You know, there are people, I think 40% of South African population mm. stays in the rural areas. So I'm sure there's a market for those private schools. But, you know, so for me, it's just that if we improve the infrastructure, then maybe we can see some people no longer sending their kids to like schools in town and actually just take them to like their local private school. You know, so yeah. Mm, that's really interesting. Uh sending kids to, to, to town because I'm also from a, a, a small town where yeah. it services so many rural uh, yeah. um, uh, villages. You should see the buses. Yes, that go to town for better education. Yeah, and uh, so what you guys are doing is say, you are saying even where you are, you can mm, make a, mm. a, a great school for the kids there. That is really great. Tell us about the agriculture side of it. So while I was doing the school one, I felt like, yes, I'm making an impact. Mm -hmm. And yes, I'm impacting kids, but South Africa has like a serious, serious unemployment prob problem. Mm -hmm. Like it's bad, you know, like I think each, and each one of us has like a second cousin or a third relative that's unemployed. And unfortunately, you know, black tax is getting deeper and deeper and deeper because, mm -hmm. you know, we were More raised mouths. to like be able to feed as many mouths as we can. So it's like, I don't see it getting better. And I think COVID just made it worse. So... I think for those of us that can, and I think after I've seen that, what the education could do, I was like, maybe we can actually use this to, in a way, you know, eradicate unemployment, you know, create some sort of jobs. So how does agriculture work? Um, so we have a lot of land in South Africa, a lot of unused land in South Africa, and still have a lot of unemployed people. So we partnered with a farmer to be like, can we actually create some sort of an incubation program where we can actually incubate potential farmers? You know, teach them all about commercial farming, you know, on a six months uh, project. And then once they are done, we actually work with them, you know, so we, go, we, go, we help them to go get farms. We work with them, we help them with distribution, and we own a certain percentage until we are happy that, you know, they, they can stand on their feet. So that's basically what we do. So it's going to be a six months project every year. So every year we're going to be training about 20 farmers. You know, and then, yeah, hoping that we can actually increase the number of commercial black farmers in this country. Mm. Mm. Very, very, very interesting and very impactful. Um, trying to eradicate poverty while mm. creating jobs. Mm. Also trying to, to, to really get the ordinary child a mm. decent education mm. and close education, mm. uh, most importantly. But really, these are the things that need funding. Yeah. How are you using the Stoffel model for these projects? So with the school, what we do is, um, I mean, how the school started, I just started with my friends. I'm like, sure, there's this school. Um, it's, you know, the COVID has affected it quite a lot. It doesn't have enough buildings, so it means it has to operate at half a capacity, mm -hmm. right? And parents are complaining because now right. I can't be sending my child to your school mm -hmm. two weeks a month and you want full month's uh, school fees. No, I can't. So it was quite, um, they were quite in a quite dire situation. So I was like, okay, guys. If we come together, um, apparently they had a building where it needed roofing, and I'm, apparently the roofing needed like 50,000, but actually it was almost 100. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if we come together, each one of us contributes a little, we borrow this money to this uh, principal, and then he brings it back. Um, how about that? So we did that. It was like a really close group of friends, and we raised the money, we gave it to him, he, figured, he finished the roofing, and kids were back in school, and then my friends are like, but this, that's it's not painted, you know, it doesn't have tiles, mm -hmm. um, you know, on the floor, it doesn't have ceiling, now this thing doesn't look see. nice. And like, ask him if we can send him, if we can give him more money, and we have a contract, and then, yeah. So that's how I started. And then eventually, like, this is actually too big, you know, for a small group of friends. Mm -hmm. um, let's get it out there, because people are actually Open quite excited up. about it. And I think, so people, education has like a really special place in their heart. Yes. So when you speak of education, like I think, yeah, they just didn't know, know that you can what use education it has done for most of us. Yeah, for most of us, yeah, it took us out of like, mm -hmm. yeah, bad situations. So you would like to give that to somebody exactly. else. So you opened up mm -hmm. to everybody and you guys stop felt together. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think what's exciting about it is, I mean, I think a lot of people really want to help, but an average person my age my background doesn't really have a lot of money to help mm -hmm. and i can't keep giving because you know i don't have a lot of money so if i'm putting away money that's going to help but in and then i get something in return that's like quite a big thing right mm -hmm. um and you're getting a return better than what other institutions mm -hmm. can actually give you mm -hmm. so it's, yeah can you give us roughly in terms of when you are fun, uh, doing this funding mm -hmm. uh, using the stock film model for these projects mm -hmm. roughly when you borrow between what and what would you so uh, one school was almost a million, mm -hmm. so it's, it's anything between between five hundred thousand to like one point five million. 
And when you get it back to the people that have funded. So we give them back a 10.5% return. Mm, that's great. Yes. Uh, so that is great. You are making money while using the stop sale model. And you are impacting socially very, very important mm. work uh, that this group of ladies and gentlemen that are doing within the education and agriculture sector. I'm very, 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 very close to my heart, especially education for rural areas. Mm. Because my mom I used to teach at rural areas and I know all about and uh, how rural schools look like and how much if we can come together and do what mm. uh, are doing. Uh, but I want to know what are the challenges using the stock fell model and how have we overcome them? I think some of the challenges that um, at some stage, so at the beginning it was like, you know, a big hype, you know, yes. we're doing great. And then All eventually nice COVID stuff. hit and then we went down a decline and people are no longer investing. It's taking mm -hmm. us longer to like impact schools. Like, yeah, it's quite stressful. So I think we we met up with Stockfeller. They have some really nice. So we were like, what can we borrow from like other Stockfellers because they seem to be doing well. Mm -hmm. um, so we're working on our marketing. Definitely, you know, communicate more to our investors, you know. Uh, one of our investors was like, you know, I get so excited when you guys are like, we only 10,000 rent shots. Then I'm like, oh, let me go get, get my 10,000 rent. But if you don't communicate, I don't know anything. So yeah. we've realized that communication is very, very important. Yeah. Like, tell people every little detail, even if you think it's stupid. Mm -hmm. You know, to someone, it's like a big thing. It also increases trust, especially among groups. Exactly. So yeah, that's one of them. Uh, we really need to improve our footprint on social media. But with social media and places like Twitter, you know, Twitter is quite scary. So I'm always like, conscious when I want to go to Twitter, I'm like, I don't want to go here. Go the safer one. I don't know if it's going to land on Google, someone. Like, right? Exactly. Like, but then that's the one with impact. But it's yeah. just like, yo, everyone on Twitter is just always But ready for social impact, I've seen people hit. on Twitter really coming together for yo. like things, like really being. I've also, I've also oh. seen amazing concepts so, on uh, Twitter. So for your, for your actually, I think it would actually gain traction on, 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 on I Twitter. I hope so. Um, there are other groups I would say they wouldn't go on Twitter because mm. of how hectic it mm. is. But for social impact, because uh, the, um, they seem to be very good um, people wanting to help on Twitter. So something like this helping and mm. still getting something back would mm. be still great. Of course, they always want to do diligence. I know. And all the things you're like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yes, <laughs> and all that. Yeah. But yeah, something to, 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 to explore. I think um, um, uh, what I like the most about um, uh, these projects um, is, is, is the impact mm. that they are making. Mm. So you are targeting a certain um, a market or a mm. certain type of people that really want to make a mm. difference. And the reward is just a cherry on mm. top. Mm. And um, if it's really out there, I really think you will get um, mm. a, a, a lot of support. Uh, so those are the challenges and um, that you are facing around that but in your opinion how can stock fells be used to impact social change practically with your experience that you have uh, acquired mm. with Masi I think James? I think we really need to um, you know stock fell is such a South African thing black mm. thing you know when you talk like I remember telling someone internationally about a stock fell, they're like what is that mm. I'm like you know it's a group of friends coming together saying money call it something else. you know and then he's like but I can put money away alone and I'm like it's not yeah. the same you know, so we should take advantage. I mean, they've done amazing things, right? Mm -hmm. But we need to evolve the fells, right? Revolution. Uh, we, we, yeah, we, we really need to use them to, especially in South Africa, because the majority of people are black and we don't mm -hmm. have a lot of money. But I think if we come together, mm -hmm. you know, we can create amazing concepts. You know, there's amazing concepts that, you know, could help this country mm -hmm. move forward. But there's just, just a lack of money. You know, so if we come together and fund those, we will we will go sure far. Can. So yeah. I've really, really seen a big, huge revolution happening in the Stockfell mm. industry over the past three to five years. Mm. Something that I didn't think I would see happening mm. because one thing about Stockfell people is that if you find them buying their groceries and trying to change <laughs> their mind, um, uh, you might not be that mm. lucky. But um, people just need information, mm. needs to be educated, needs to be communicated with and explained to and uh, build trust mm. in order to really participate in, mm. in great projects um, like these. So uh, what would you say um, those who don't know how to use the Stockfield med, uh, model to access opportunities uh, like you are doing, what they must do? 
Like, um, as you were saying, so there's a lot of problem is capital. The, the yeah, business. there's a lot of stock files, but there's also a lot of fake stock files. Yes. You know, where people people steal other people's money. We've seen that, right? Um, so I think. Um, go to a stock file that you probably trust. I think all stock files on stock file possibly you can trust because <laughs> you can go back to stock file and say, whoever stole my money and they have that person's details. So something can be done. Um, and, you know, go for transparency. You know, at any given time, people should be able to tell you how much money is there, how much you've contributed, where that money is. You know, seek answers is your money, mm-hmm. right? I like yeah, also. don't wait for end of year and then they're like, ah, money has been lost six months ago, you know? Mm-hmm. So every month at any given time, if you feel like, I want to know what my 30000 is doing, you know, go ask. Um, mm-hmm. Is your right? So that's, that's one of the ways that you can sort of, Keep abreast. I mean, I also didn't trust stock files when it started, mm. but you know, especially the word stock files because skin to Yeah, and, so and our mothers have lost a lot of money, yeah. you know, and groceries and things. So yeah, it still has that perception, but we are fixing it. We are. So, we are. <laughs> with all these projects, yeah. as I was saying, that the more we get uh, stories like mm. yours, that um, uh, we use the stock file model mm. to build a school. We use the stock file model to bring mm. farmers for agriculture mm. and create jobs. Those are great things, mm. and and there's a lot of opportunities to access, but we don't have money, mm. and we don't have funding, and if we come together and and, and do those, uh, it's it's really great. But on the social impact, um, specifically on social impact, um, stock fields have such a core principle in them, which mm. is Ubuntu, mm. helping each other. So if you want to, 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 to really make a difference, um, even if it's in a small way, getting into these initiatives mm. um, um, it's really great and it won't even hit you that much in mm. your pocket because you are doing it with other people. So what are the benefits of being part of um, Mercedes Projects? Uh, I think for me, Personally, uh, I'm pushing a passion while making an impact, right? I've mm. always been super passionate about education. And making money. And making money, exactly. <laughs> Plus, I love money. I think if you were to ask everybody <laughs> about me, that's one of the things they're going to mention is that, oh, she loves <laughs> money. She's always going to talk about money and, you know, what it means for her. Mm. So, yeah, that's, those are the benefits, really. Like, I'm impacting education. I'm very passionate about education. I'm just like a lot of other black like, kids who are, ooh, education, like, you know, has made quite an impact. You know, it took, it, it took me to a higher elevation, mm-hmm. definitely. Um, you know, and then, you know, making an impact mm-hmm. and making money after all, right? It's like, I'm one of those definitely. who have very little money in my bank account because yeah. it's not working for me. <laughs> <laughs> I tell people that I belong in six stuff. Yeah. Like, they think you have money. I'm like, no, you just put it 400 yeah. And then it, it goes a long way. And mm. I think when you think of a stock fail, I mean, you see other 10 people contributing, you're going to contribute, mm. right? So you're going to take that McDonald's money and put it onto a stock fail. But when you're alone, you're like, ah, I want a pair of shoes. Or next month. And ah. then next month becomes next month. This one, so I'm going to some seat, you know? Yeah. So now when you're in a stock fail, you're like, okay, I can't. Mm. Mm. So I, I really, really like that uh, you are, uh, I'm also very, very passionate about education. I don't know anything else that mm. I would have put where I am in mm. life without education. That's why I'm always like, hey, if you know any other way of getting up to <laughs> yes, use it. But some of us, mm. uh, we advocate for education mm. because we've got experience in terms of mm. where it has took us from to where we mm. are now. Um, but what I like mostly what you are saying around the benefits uh, is your passion. Uh, you are making money and you are making impact. Mm. Not a lot of people can be able to do that mm. with doing just one uh, project. That is, that is a really great, um, uh, uh, or oh, those are really great benefits to mm. be part of, of, of such things. So uh, just one last question. I wanted to ask you, uh, what are you guys busy with at the Masedi project, both the education side and the agriculture side currently? So education, uh, we're finalizing our second school. Uh, it should be done by end of next month. Okay. Uh, it's here in Molodo. So Molodo is like down south of Pretoria or north of Pretoria. Yeah. Um, so that's where. So we you guys are. also do um, Gauteng, not only. Yeah, Gauteng. but it has to be at a township or a rural oh, area. Yes. So we can't come building four weeks. Obviously. First of all, the, the land is like five million. <laughs> we don't have it. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, with agriculture, it's slowly but surely taking shape. Because that's. Still new. Yeah, that's still new. I think the uptake is a bit slow, but we'll get there. Uh, we're hoping that we'll use Stockfile. I mean, we want to use grants because it's such a great concept, mm-hmm. but we wanted to use Stockfile because imagine, 
Yeah, we could use both. But imagine now, you know, the story out there to say, you know, a group of black people came together and started, you know, an agriculture group, mm. right? And this is maybe like 20 years later, this is how far it is. It has impacted so many, you know. So the story behind it, we thought with the stuff about it, it's going to be like, you know, amazing. Mm. So we're hoping that people can, the uptake can actually improve. Mm. you know so that it can actually make great Marketing. impact not to say we're not going to use grants but we'd like, we still like that oh. part of the software because it's a good story you know mm. we just don't want to be another child and there are people that are really willing to put in yes, like, yes. see the vision. exactly exactly yeah. and, and also it opens because with this one eventually after some time we're going to give people shares so it opens mm. like a you know it makes it a bigger organization so if somebody really Mm. You know, so, and now you have shares, you know, in some agriculture corporation. Mm. You know, how amazing is that? That's really great. Talking of the future, <laughs> what do you envision uh, the future to be like in this quest of collectively, uh, socially impacting mm. using the stock film model? So, I think one of the best ways to impact this country is to social interventions. Uh, mm. Because we are a country that's facing poverty mm. and unemployment. So we are a country with social problems. Yes. You know, we don't True have those world class problems. So the only way we're going to solve these social problems is through social interventions, mm. not other things, mm. right? Uh, so we really need to go, you know, back at the drawing board and come up with uh, social interventions that can actually create mass employment, mm. right? And I, I, I see this stock falls like actually uh, making an impact. And for those people with little money, um, of course, you see it as creating... Uh, creating a job for someone, but it's also a benefit for you, right? Imagine if you start investing now in stock falls and maybe you're 30, mm -hmm. uh, when you're 60, so it's a 30 year of investing. And imagine how much money you would have invested and how much money you would have made, mm -hmm. you know? So I think we need to look at it at, 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 at the long term mm. here. So your vision, if you had to put it in one line, say, where do you see my steady? projects in five years time for example i see it creating jobs i see it impacting education because i feel like there's still a lot to be done also in the education of, of this country Definitely. it's not that great um so we can do more but unfortunately i think you can't do much in government because there's just so much red tape in policies mm -hmm. and blah 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 they also can't do it alone yeah but uh you need to be in there mm -hmm. to impact you know, otherwise they look at you like how comrade, you know. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately for a lot of people like me, um, probably the private sector could be it. So, but uh, we can't make the private sector or private education so expensive because an average person is not going to afford it. So, we really need to come up with ways of impacting education, you know, at an affordable rate. Yeah, so that's where I see myself. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Ah, so, 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 fellas, this was so great. I could talk to my shop no, no, the whole day. We definitely need a part two of this. As she said, for social problems that we have here in Zanzi, we also need social solutions. And that's what they are doing with the Mercedes projects. And they are using a stock farm model to make an impact for social change. So thank you for contributing to our industry. You are really revolutionary. Thank you. Before we let you go, mm. tell us if somebody wants to be part of Masedi Project, how can they contact you, social media, website, contact details? Um, so they can go, we are on Facebook uh, as Masedi Education Project. So you can, you know, inbox us there. You can also go into Stockfella and just, you know, join the group. Uh, you can send us an email at info at Masedi Project uh, at gmail.com. Yeah. So that's how you can get hold of us. Thank you very much. That is on Facebook, on email, and on Stockfella. Just look for Mercedes projects and you'll get them right there. Thank you very much for joining us today. Property housing. Skills. This is revolution. Stockfella for every rural blockchain. Crypto. Women, wealth, and wealth. This is heaven. Revolution. Good cost. We are coming for everything.